Around two million years ago, humans emerged from the primordial soup to evolve and build technologies beyond anything we could have possibly imagined to answer one question. A question so akin to human nature at its most basic level that it's almost impossible to ignore the impact that it's had on our society as a whole. My name is Sly McRye, and I'm here to ask you, can it run? If you aren't aware, Doom is a very popular and influential PC game that was made in 1993 by id Software. Doom is considered to be one of the first smash hit FPS games, and its effects on the gaming industry cannot go unnoticed for better or for worse. Now that you know roughly what Doom is, let's get back to the question of the hour. I'm gonna start off with the less shocking ones. Nintendo DS, Calculator, Game & Watch, Regular Watch, Canon Camera, Price Scanner, Remarkable, Nokia N79, T16 Remote, Drone Controller, Roku, and an Office Phone. Huh, I never knew that you can use fire like that. Hello? You again? How do you keep getting my number?! All right, these are the really weird ones. Spectrum Analyzer, Pioneer DJ Controller, Adafruit Handheld. This one's kind of cool because it claims to be the smallest playable version of Doom. Finally, my ant colony can be gamers too. Anyway, a car, $15 smart lamp chip from Ikea, Bluetooth LE USB dongle, Oskil, Oscil, oh Lord. Oscilloscope, the back cover of a Zephyrus G14 laptop, a MacBook Pro touch bar, and last but certainly not least, a pregnancy test. Yes, a pregnancy test. And that's only scratching the surface. There's a ton more things that should not be able to run Doom but somehow do. And that begs the question, how does this all work? Well, the simple answer is that Doom was made in 1993. Back then, games were tiny. The original version of Doom is only 2.39 megabytes. And of course, the second half of that answer, gamers. I don't think I need to elaborate. All right, time for the confusing answer. From what I've gathered, a lot of it has to do with how Doom is coded. Doom is written in C, which is a simple general purpose programming language. Because of its simplicity, it can be utilized in a lot of different ways. One of those ways is being portable. Not like carrying something in a suitcase portable, but more like you could port a program over to a different platform as long as that platform has what C language needs to work. There's also the fact that Doom's source code is public knowledge. Source code is pretty much the building blocks of any program that you use. I don't know, man. If I was trying to port something over to a pregnancy test, I'd probably want to take a peek at the source code, make sure everything's okay, because, <laughs> like, it's a pregnancy test. And like I said in the beginning of this explanation, Doom is a very tiny game. You don't need much to run it. If you're interested in learning more about what I just talked about, check the description. I've linked the sources that I used, but please do your own research. And if I made any mistakes, tech wizards, if you're in the comments, please let me know, because this is all very confusing to me. <laughs> but you know who it's not confusing to? The community behind all this madness is a subreddit called r slash it runs doom. It was created as the designated place to document strange hardware that can run doom. The subreddit's been going since 2016, so you can scroll through hundreds of these things. Oh, oh, and an important uh, detail to mention, 2016 was six years ago. Have a fun mental breakdown. Anyway, one of my favorite things about this subreddit is the fact that you have to show your work on every single post. That means you gotta provide specific instructions on exactly how you got Doom running on that specific piece of hardware. Which means that if you wanted to, you could totally go on this subreddit and figure out how to make any one of these Doom ports and play them for yourself. I don't know why you would want to, because to get all this working it seems like it's a complete pain in the ass, but the option is there. Doom is an incredibly influential game that has been around for nearly 30 years now, and the fact that there's still an active community trying to preserve this game in so many creative ways is absolutely fascinating. I hope the hardworking people that know how to do this stuff keep doing what they're doing because honestly, it's really damn cool. Before I end the video, I want to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel. My last video has been doing exceedingly well performance-wise, and my sub count has basically doubled as of recording this video. Thank you so much 
for that, and thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video I make. Have a great day, and bye bye